Welcome to Star Wars, Dark Force Rising, Part 5 of 6. Mara and Luke land aboard the Star Destroyer, pretending to be dropping off cargo. They look for Card, and Mara finds a path to reach him. Luke uses his lightsaber to drill a way through the ceiling. They find a pilot room, and Luke uses his force powers to suppress suspicion among the crew, getting Imperial outfits for them to wear. Mara gets Luke access to a dump chute, and he uses it to break into the prison and Card's cell. He helps Card get out the same way. They meet up with Mara and discuss the next steps. Thrawn meanwhile gets a report of Mara's presence on Jomark, as well as the suspicious cargo ship that docked. He realizes they have visitors and orders a check on Card. He orders the main computer to be shut down, realizing that Mara must have accessed it. The alarm goes off, and Mara, Luke and Card battle the pilots and stormtroopers to get to the ship. Thrawn realizes that Luke is on board the Chimera with Mara. They get to the deep storage hangar and find the Millennium Falcon. Once again battling the crew and stormtroopers, they use the Millennium Falcon to escape the Star Destroyer. Thrawn realizes he has lost Card, and the captain worries the latter will give information to the Republic. Thrawn tells Pelian that Farrier has discovered Solo's location and he knows who Card is going to meet. At the Nogri planet, Leia asks the Matrak how long the planet has been like this and realizes what is going on. She asks for a meeting with Dynasts. The Dynasts and the Nogri head to meet Leia. Leia tells them that the debt to the Empire has been paid in full and she can prove it. One of the Dynasts clashes with Leia, but they allow her to speak. She tells them that Lord Vader's ships didn't come to look for survivors but to seed the planet. She says she can prove it with the Empire's droids, noting that the grass they are planting looks like the native grass but was sent to poison the planet. She runs a test on the droid and proves to the Nogri that the Empire has been killing their crops. The Nogri are stunned, and she leaves with Kabarok and asks them to decide whether their debt to the Empire has been paid. Meanwhile, Han and Lando are at Coral Vanda, an underwater casino. They get ambushed by Niles Farrier, who once again attempts to negotiate with Han. Meanwhile, Thrawn's Star Destroyer appears above the same planet, and Thrawn gives the order to fire. And that's how Dark Force Rising, Part 5 of 6 comes to an end. This video was sponsored by NTD TV, a global, independent news organization. For more information, visit ntd.com or search for NTD on your favorite social media.